autologous platelet rich plasma, also known as PRP, may increase complete wound closure, shorten healing time, and reduce wound size in individuals with lower extremity diabetic ulcers. My name is Wen Chen Chu, Associate Professor of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation and Anesthesiology at Mayo Clinic Attic School of Medicine. My name is Zhang Wang. I'm a professor of health services research at Mayo Clinic, current center for the science of health care delivery, and the associate director of Mayo Clinic Evidence-Based Practice Center. Those research findings will be published in the article, The Effectiveness and Safety of Platelet-Rich Plasma for Chronic Wounds, appearing at Mayo Clinic Proceedings in September 2021. This research was funded by Agency of Healthcare Research and Quality. The purpose was to examine the safety and effectiveness of PRP for chronic wound care and make sure that novel and effective therapies will be understood and used in patient care. In fact, on April 13, 2021, based on the result of this research, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services released a decision that it would cover autologous PRP for treatment of chronic non-healing diabetic wounds for a duration of 20 weeks. It greatly improved access to a safe and effective therapy for patients in need. To evaluate the effectiveness and the adverse events of autologous platelet-rich plasma PRP in individuals with a lower extremity diabetic ulcers, lower extremity venous ulcers, and pressure ulcers, we conducted a, a systematic review of 20 randomized controlled trials and five observational studies. Compared with the management without a PRP, PRP therapy significantly increased complete wound closure in lower extremity diabetic ulcers by 20%. It shortened the time to complete wound closure and reduced the wound area and the depth. PRP was also found to be safe. Chronic wound affects 15% of Medicare beneficiaries. Current conventional therapy are challenged with a high prevalence of refractory non-healing wound. New treatment modalities have been developed to address the root cause of non-healing because it is believed to be associated with lack of vital growth factors. PRP contain a large amount of growth factors that play a critical role in tissue repair and regeneration. We're glad to see the evidence that PRP is indeed helpful in patients with this disabling condition. Chronic non-healing wound is still a challenging condition that would need more in-depth research for therapies to address repair and regeneration processes. Future directions will include stem cell and cell product therapy with a focus on engineered stem cell and cell products. The goal is to precisely target a gene and molecular processes and provide a solution specific to each type of chronic wounds and each individual patient. Please read the article for details. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter more information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.